Today I'd like to show you how to use a free piece of software called Audacity to record your voice and then import music to go along with your voice. So you're going to have two different uh, layers of audio and in the end you can save that as just one audio file. So if I go over to the Audacity website Right in the menu, you can see that I can download the Windows version of Audacity. If you don't already have it on your computer, it's a free program. Go to the download, tell it you want to grab the installer, and then you can download the installer right from the website. Once you have that, install it on your computer, and uh, after it's installed, you're going to have a program uh, that looks like this. Now, I've been recording my audio since I started recording this video. There's a button right here, the red circle. That's the record button. You can see at the top the audio levels. As I say something, the audio levels go up. You can control exactly how high the audio le levels are. I'm just using the speaker on my computer. Whenever I would like to, I can stop recording just by hitting the stop button. So now I've got uh, audio that I can play back. I'll play it back for you. Today, Today I'd, I'd like, like to, to show, show you how to use a free piece, piece of software, software called Audacity. So that's, that's the uh, audio voice. that's been recording since I started recording this video. I've got this. As you can see it's left and right channels. It's a, a stereo. Uh, input and I want to grab some free music is a CC mixer you can go to this website to, to download music that you can use without copyright violations on the CC mixer site I'm going to uh, I'm going to pick up the popular so I'm going to go to the picks and try to find so here's something that says it's a jazz instrumental And listen to it. Sounds like something that I could put over, put on the background. And like I said before, I, I recorded my voice there. Now I'm going to import. I go to File, Import, Audio. And I select the file that I just downloaded from CC Mixture. So I open that. It's going to create two new tracks, these tracks down here. If I go back to the beginning of my audio and I listen to it, today I'd like, like to show you how to use a free of software called Audacity. Now it might be the music's a little too loud for my voice. There's a level control for each one of the tracks. So this uh, level control right here, if I adjust that down, again, you can just play around with this and listen to it. Let's see if my voice is now prominent uh, over top of the audio. Today I'd like, I'd like to, to show you how to use a free piece of software, software called Audacity to record your voice and then import music. So let's say I want to uh, end my music at about the same time that I end my uh, talking up here at the top. You can see that's a uh, minute and 42 seconds or so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight from here on and delete it. To delete it, I just press, press the delete key. Notice I left myself uh, a little bit of uh, extra audio. That's because from here to here, I'm going to do a fade out. To do that, I highlight that area, go up to Effects, click on Fade Out, and I get a fade out. So now if I listen to the end of my audio, whenever, whenever I, I would like, like to, I can stop, stop recording just by hitting this. Now I have 
my audio recorded voice with imported music that I have in the background. I've made them end at the same place. The last thing I would do would be to save this project. Go to File, click on Export. Uh, I'd recommend OGG, or you can always just use a WAV file. That's the Windows uh, default audio format. Uh, that should do it. Your first voice recording with music in the background.